Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll show you how to submit hourly work and Upwork. So with Upwork, we have two ways of actually charging our clients. So we first have the buy milestone method, which is will be paid by milestone. So the other way is by the hourly work, which is the uh, topic for our video today. Now with hourly work, we have two methods of actually charging our clients. So we have the automatic way, which in screenshots will be taken from your monitor and that would automatically log your work into your contract. But if you don't have that and you want to manually add your hours into Upwork, well, it's actually pretty easy. Now for you to add your hours manually here, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the My Jobs at the top of your screen. Now, when you hover on my jobs, you'll be redirected to these three options here. We have my jobs, all contracts, and work diary. So what we need to do here is just click on my jobs. In my jobs, we'll be able to see all of the contracts that you have right now all, and all of the contracts you also have previously. So for this example, I actually had a previous client that actually needed the work or the contract in an hourly basis. So, and from here, you just need to click on the button that you see on your contract. So if in this case, if the contract is still running, it's going to say submit work for payment. Now in there, you'll be redirected to the next UI. In this UI, the only thing that you need to do here is you will need to add your time manually. So in this UI, you should be able to see a button that says add manual time. And from there, you'll be able to choose the date where we work, when you perform, perform your work and how many hours you actually perform that work. You also have the option to send a message to your client from there. And from there, you just need to add your hours and that will be automatically logged into your contract. Now here, if you want to know details about your contract, you can go ahead and go to timesheet. And from there, you'll be able to see all of the time that you have or you spent on that specific contract. So if you want to see all of the messages that you, you had with your uh, client, you can go to messages. And if you want to know more or you want to know the full details about your contract, you want to go to details. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.